everybody, welcome back. And this is a Fishing Friday bonus video. So normally, as you you know, well, we haven't gotten to them all yet, but we have four monthly subscription tag mystery tackle boxes. And I'm comparing them all, uh, breaking them all down, the good, the bad, you know, what, what's, what I like about each box, what's bad about each box, all that. Well, I was walking around in Walmart the other day. That's fine without it. And I found something, and I was like, huh. And I didn't know how much it was, so I just picked it up. And But I want to just open it up and, uh, you know, kind of feel the hooks, you know, and all that stuff. But I got this Arky. Um, fishing kit. It lures for bash, crappie, walleye, and, cat and panfish. And this was $12.98. So we're going to open it up. We're going to, you know, fill the plastic, see if they're any good. Um, <coughs> so thought it was kind of a interesting little little steel to have there. Oh, let's just take, all right, so let's see what we got here. So that's what you get. <laughs> We're gonna open this tray up. Uh, it's recycled plastic, at least that's what it says. Um, some are a little bit crushed, but I mean, hey, for $13, this looks pretty nice. I mean, this looks like a good way to, to start. So we're going to start, okay, so looks like we got, we got a package of swivels here. Looks like... Looks like maybe three or four swivels, so we'll call that four. All right. One, two, three, four. Four swivels. All right. And then we do have a fish bait here that is already hooked. No, the hook seems pretty sharp. Um, the plastic, it's... Not super durable, but it feels pretty good. It feels pretty durable. It looks... It doesn't look too bad. I mean, for, for getting something at Walmart, this doesn't look like too bad of a of a bait. It kind of looks... It's a pretty little fish bait. Alright, so we got one pre-rigged fish bait. Pre or swim bait, rather. Swim bait. Alright. And those are in the first, those are in the biggest, well, the, the, the first, first compartment, all right? Moving into the middle compartment, we have three, four items, okay? We do have Arky's fishing tips for a great day of fishing. Um, you've got some basic fishing knots here. Shows you how to tie an improved clinch knot and a polymer knot. Then you have rigging instructions over here, uh, rigging a curl tail grub, rigging a hollow tube, and then you just have some basic fishing tips on the back. <coughs> you know, I, simple, little simple insert. Okay, and then we do have two. Bobbers. Let's see here. Got two bobbers. Comes down, put the line through there. Fold the bottom. Pull that down. Put the line through there. So you can so you can you can put a bobber on your line. This one here. Hook it through right there. So we got two bobbers, and we have a cheap little nylon stringer. Okay, so so two bobbers, one stringer, and like anything else, they're gonna say a guide. So we'll call one guide. All right. So and that is what is in the largest middle compartment. And probably the reason it's the largest because it does have that, that paper in it. But, alright, so, 
Now, moving on, um, we're going to go over to the... We got one... Four... Oops. Five, and that one's actually painted. Six, seven, eight, and nine. So we have nine jig heads of various size hooks. So nine jig heads. And these hooks, these hooks are pretty sharp. They do have, they, 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 these hooks, they, these are pretty sharp hooks. But one of them is painted, and then you've just got, let's see here, three, so you have this, <laughs> so we have one of these, this painted jig head. Then we have two of these ball head jig heads. Then we have three of these, and these are kind of all oh, that. Oh, that works. Put that against my shirt. We have three of these. They're kind of like a pointed jig head of a large size. Well, large. And then we have three of these pointed jig heads of a smaller size hook. So a total of nine jig heads. All right. And now then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten different soft baits. So we first one thing we have, we have four of these green soft baits like this. Um, the plastic seems pretty good and then we have four black ones of the same plastic seems alright and then we have four white ones okay so that's that's twelve okay and then we have a whole bunch of these little plastics. These little plastics in yellow. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got eight of these, eight of those ones. And then <clears throat> those are yellow. And then I'm, I'm going to guess we have another eight of these ones. These are kind of a, a chartreuse, I think. But you got eight of them that are like this color. One, two, three, four. Yep. Yeah. So we got eight of those. So that's 16. And then we have. I'm sure it's the same. We have eight of these white ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have eight of these gray ones. Alright, so that's eight, sixteen, twenty-five. So that's thirty-two. Thirty-two of those soft baits. And then we have if you um, we did have the tube type. It showed us how to how to rig tubes, tube baits. We have tube soft baits. Looks like one, two, three, four. All right, so we have eight of these red and white. The tails on those are not quite as good as plastic. The piece just came off. Then we have eight of these green and yellow. And then we have eight of these black and white. 
So that's another 28 times, that's another 24. And that is everything in the Arky fishing kit. Now, so, technically you have 10 hooks, because you already have a, a pre-rigged swim bait, and then you have nine jig heads, and you've got a total of 64 soft baits. So we're looking at 64, 54, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. So you're looking at a 62 piece kit here, total. And I think for $13, 62 pieces to fish with, I think it's a pretty good deal. You know, you can uh, transfer this into, into a tackle box and you've got, um, you've got, you already have a wide variety of stuff. Really all you need to add to this would be like some sinkers and some other hooks and some line and you'd be able to get out there and you'd be able to catch some fish. So I think that this Arky $13 at Walmart, not a bad deal. Um, the, the hooks are sharp, the plastic seem pretty durable. I mean, yeah, some of the small, the small like ends on the tube ones, you know, but those are like really small plastic. I, I don't think that there's any plastic like that that's gonna be that, that durable. Um, but other than that, um, Especially these these curl tail ones. These things are really these things are these things are pretty stretchy. These ones here, they're a little bit less, and then the two baits are the least. But and then you you already got swivels too. So oh yeah, I didn't count the swivels, did I? Yeah, the four swivels. So yeah, I think it's a pretty good deal. Uh, Thirteen dollars, you get yourself a, a pretty good assortment of soft baits. You get yourself some jig heads. Very little, you know, and you actually this 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 container is really bad. It's recycled plastic, but you'd like, you can probably go and pick up something like this right here, which is one that I built. I built this to, to go into like um, a pack. This is a, my, my version of a micro fishing kit, and uh, we'll get into this someday too, but you could get something like this and probably transfer almost all of this into a box this size, and this will fit perfectly in, say, um, a get home bag, a skate bag, just, you know, just um, a light survival kit. You throw this in there. Um, this does not have line in it, so you still have to have the fishing line. I bought the fishing line. I do have a small spool somewhere. It's actually in a, in a, another pouch, but I took this out because I added, because I've been adding stuff to this because, you know, there is room in this compartment. And so I picked up and again, my the uh, the whole the whole concept behind this is that I'm building a a budget survival fishing kit, and so I got some of these these hard lures here that I got from Walmart as well. They're like Cream Company or something, but uh, yeah. So I just throw these. I threw these in here too. Um, I think I had gotten. Yeah. See, if you look here, I got these. I may as well just show it right now. So I got, there's three in each of these. These are some some, some small swim baits. Um, I did pick up a nylon stringer. And I, I spent less than $20 on everything in here. So, and I mean, that's, that's kind of like the good thing. You can build yourselves a, a decent survival fishing kit you don't have to you don't have to be like in for a lot of money or anything um i got some small sinkers i actually bought these afterwards because um if you go back on my channel i i, I stocked up that pimple pole that we got from a pocket box and i used these these sinkers because i needed small sinkers to go into that small compartment so i got these but i also have I also have a 15 pack and a 20 pack split shots. These are all split shot sinkers. Uh, I have size three, four, and size BB. Uh, these are Ozark Trails, again, Walmart. This one here is Water Gremlin. I, I had to pick that up at um, Big Five. But, and then I've got one, I've got five swivels in here. 
Actually, I have more than five. I've got ten swivels. And I've got four of these uh, corkish styrofoam type bobbers. And again, I put this together for less than $20. It might have been around $20 after I had the, after I added those, those other sinkers because I needed smaller ones. But, but again, you, you can build a nice budget fishing kit. This thing here, this will fit in, a, in a, almost any pouch here of a backpack. If you have a pants with cargo pockets, these will, these will slide into cargo pockets. This is a very small, compact size. And that $20 included the box. The box is the most expensive thing that I bought. So, and I'm sure that another box, maybe another another box like this, you probably transfer almost all this into there. You put it like your soft baits, because you've got we got three different types of soft baits. So you got soft bait, soft bait, soft bait, and then you got your swim bait and your jig heads, and then you got your sinker and your 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 big hit your your swim bait, your jig heads, and your swivels, and then this last one you can put your well actually the <clears throat> the one the one bobber won't fit in here, it's too long. But you can fit your your bobber and your stringer in here as well. So you can fit almost all of this into something like this. the The problem is going to be this this long this long bobber right here. It's too long. But still, all in all, I think it's a pretty good kit um, for twelve dollars for you know thirteen dollars. You can't really go wrong. I think it's a definitely a good purchase. And I mean, I don't work for Walmart. I'm not affiliated. No stake in it. But it seems to be, um, you know, especially if, like something quick, budget, you get everything covered and, you know, you can have your your foundation for a survival fishing kit already ready to go. All right, anyway, hey, this is your first time channel. Please consider subscribing. If you are subscribed, please consider hitting that like button. Um, go ahead and uh, leave me a comment. If you have this, if you tried any of these, the, the, if, you've, if you've used this kit, let me know. It's going to be a while before I can actually get a chance to use it. I do plan on using all of it, but it's going to be a while. All right, until next time, keep prepping.